Welcome back, chemistry fans. This is Dr. Betts coming to you from the Academic Success Center here at Broward College North Campus. And today we are going to be working on changing a number from standard notation to scientific notation. And here we have three example problems on how to do that. Here we have 123,000, and we want to modify that from standard, which is what it's in now, to scientific notation. Now, to do this, you basically have to imagine that there's a little bunny rabbit that's going to jump back and forth. Now, I know that sounds a little odd, but let's imagine that at the end of this number, there's a decimal point. And we're going to call that decimal point the little bunny rabbit. The little bunny rabbit is going to want to hop behind each number until it gets to the last digit in the number. See how the little bunny just kind of hops like this to the very last digit? So now the little bunny is sitting behind the first digit in the number, the one. So the answer here would be 1.23. Now this is the next part. You write 10 times 10. Every scientific number has that times 10. Now count how many hops the bunny made. One, two, three, four, five, times 10 to the five. All right, now I gave you a cute little explanation on how this works. Really what this is saying is it's 1.23 multiplied by 10 to the five. That's really what it's saying. But I think it's much easier to remember the little bunny rabbit is gonna hop to the front, or sorry, to the back of the first digit in the number. That's to me is much more fun to remember. Let's consider this number. Now the little bunny rabbit is visible. You can see him. He's right there. So we're going to have the little bunny hop behind the nine. Remember, the bunny always wants to be behind the first digit. The zeros we don't consider to be uh, significant, so we're going to jump behind the first non-zero digit. So the little bunny is going to hop. One, two, three, four. All right. So now the answer here would be 9.8 times 10, but now it's negative four. All right. So what this is saying is it's 9.8 multiplied by 1 over 10 to the 4. So the negative sign means uh, reciprocal or the 1 over 10 to the 4. That's basically what it means. What I usually tell students, if you don't want to remember all the math behind this, just remember that if the little bunny hops to the left, this number is positive. If the little bunny hops to the right, this number is negative. Depends on how you want to remember it. Okay. I personally think of the little bunny hopping back and forth because I was taught this when I was in high school, and it stuck with me. So here we go. Last example, negative 909. Again, the little bunny is at the end of the number. He's going to hop behind the first digit. There we go. The answer here is negative 9.09 .09 times 10 to the 2. All right? And that's in essence how you do it. So either way, if you want to think about the little bunny jumping back and forth, think of the little decimal point jumping back and forth, or if you want to do the math out uh, in your head, that's completely fine. Either way you do it, as long as you get to the right answer, that's what really matters. All right? So that's how you answer this question. I hope that this was helpful, and if you have any problems beyond this, please contact one of the tutors here at the Academic Success Center.